Hi everyone and welcome back. Today we're talking about what is a chartered IFA and how you become one. Charter status is a symbol of technical competence and signifies a public commitment to professional standards. It's widely recognised as the gold standard among financial planners and is a mark of trust and capability. The Chartered Insurance Institute, the CII, award charter status to individual professionals and to firms who display eminence in their field. By becoming a chartered IFA, you're making a public commitment to professionalism. It's a symbol to consumers, employers, peers and professional networks that you are at the forefront of your profession and you go beyond technical competence to ongoing professional development, prioritising client centricity and trust at the heart of everything that you do. Currently, there are only 20,000 chartered CAI members. To become chartered, you must complete extensive studying and qualifications above and beyond those needed to become an IFA. You must maintain standards of excellence in qualifications, ethics, business practices and professional development. The RQF Level 6 Advanced Diploma in Financial Planning to achieve charter status builds on existing knowledge, enabling advisors to develop specialist planning capabilities and offer a sophisticated and comprehensive approach to financial management. Members with over five years sector experience can apply for Charter Financial Planner status or completion of the Advanced Diploma. To complete the Advanced Diploma, you must already hold the CII Diploma in Regulated Financial Planning or the Diploma in Financial Planning. If you hold a Chartered Insurance Institute Advanced Diploma, it's likely that you already satisfy the requirements to become chartered. Qualifying criteria for Charter Financial Planner status are the Advanced Diploma in Financial Planning, PFS Fellowship Member of the Personal Finance Society, and five years relevant sector experience, not necessarily post-qualification. Charter status requires you to obtain 290 credits. CII Diploma holders will already have more than a third of this number, and in many cases more. If you have already completed the Diploma in Regulated Financial Planning, you'll already have 100 credits, or if you've already completed the Diploma in Financial Planning, you'll already have 140 credits towards the 290. Of the 290 credits required to complete the Advanced Diploma, a minimum of 120 of these must be level six from units AF1, AF4, AF5, AF6, AF7 and AF8, with AF5, financial planning process, being compulsory. A further 40 credits must be at level four, diploma level or above. And remaining credits can come from any of the personal finance units, excluding LF1. The level six units are as follows. AF1, personal tax and trust planning, that's 30 credits. AF4, investment planning, 30 credits. The compulsory unit of AF5, the financial planning process, 30 credits. AF6, senior management and supervision, 30 credits. AF7, pension transfers, 20 credits. AF8, retirement income planning, 30 credits. There's no definitive order in which you should study your chosen units, but AF5 tests skills that are developed through the completion of the other advanced diploma units, so that one must be completed last. The notional off-qual total qualification time is 600 hours. This represents the time that a student might typically take to upgrade their CAI Level 4 Diploma in Financial Planning or Regulated Financial Planning to the CAI Level 6 Advanced Diploma in Financial Planning by the shortest combination of units from the core and optional units available. The number of hours may increase depending on the units chosen. Further study will be needed for any units required to meet the additional completion requirements for students who have not already completed these as part of their prior study. Advanced diploma level units are assessed by written exam or coursework assignments. Written exam results are normally released six to eight weeks following the exam settings, and coursework assignment results are normally released 40 days following submission. Qualification units are delivered through purchasing an enrolment, which typically includes study text, assessment, and access to RevisionMate, the CAI online study tool. There are also additional revision aids available. If after completing the advanced diploma, you wish to continue with formal professional development, you could study for the fellowship of the PFS. Fellowship held by more than 5,000 working practitioners is the CAI's highest level of qualification and attainment is globally recognised as an indicator of expertise and experience. 